Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, August 18th, 2016. We have a few showers moving through the region today as a couple of shortwave troughs at the surface moved through the area, leading to uh, some heavier downpours at times. But for the most part, these showers will become more isolated as we move towards the afternoon and also rather weak. Currently, temperatures range from the upper 60s to lower 70s in your suburbs, lower to mid 70s in your urban areas, with light and variable winds starting to develop out of the northeast as a trough of low pressure exits the region. On the radar, you could see those showers moving off the coast now. They were more widespread earlier this morning. And then we have more isolated showers back here to the west that will grow a little bit in coverage, especially over eastern Pennsylvania this afternoon, but peak around 2 to 6 p.m. and then collapse by the time we get to 8 p.m. with dry conditions for tonight. So if you have any outdoor plans during the day today, certainly bring an umbrella with you, but don't cancel your plans. By this evening, I think you'll be okay for the most part. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see that area of low pressure along the Delaware River is exiting the coast, and with it, the majority of the showers. This shortwave trough right here will swing through the region today, and produce additional isolated showers and possibly even an extremely isolated thunderstorm. But that's about it. And again, the most of the focus will be over eastern Pennsylvania and western New Jersey. So right along the coast, I'd say about a 20% chance of a shower. Over towards the Delaware River Valley and over eastern Pennsylvania, about a 30% chance. I'm going to dive into the forecast for this afternoon. Again, watch out for an isolated shower, otherwise variable cloud cover. Temperatures range from the lower to mid-80s along the coast, mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. For this evening, isolated shower linger, followed by clearing skies overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Could be a little bit of fog in some localized areas. Lows in the lower 70s, upper 60s in some of your northern suburbs. For tomorrow afternoon, a threat for an extremely isolated shower is possible, otherwise scattered cloud cover is expected. High temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 80s. And on Saturday, sky cloud cover is expected. Again, there is a threat for an isolated shower in the afternoon, but the keyword there is isolated. Otherwise, variable cloud cover. Temperatures will range from the lower 70s for lows and mid to upper 80s for highs. When we dive into the forecast for Sunday, watch out for a few more scattered showers as a backdoor cold front tries to move through the region. Lows in the lower 70s, highs in the mid to upper 80s. As we move towards Monday, a cold front will swing through the region with showers in the morning, clearing skies by the time we get to the late afternoon hours. Lows will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the lower to mid 80s. On Tuesday, high pressure will start to build into the region with clearing skies, lows in the mid 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. On Wednesday, high pressure will be in complete control with clear skies, lows in the lower to mid 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And on Thursday, high pressure remains in place with clear skies, lows in the lower to mid 60s, even in a couple of upper 50s in your northern suburbs, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. For more information, please check out NY NJPA Weather Premium Services, only $11 a month to as much as $80 a year, which is pretty reasonable for the most part. And also, if you're interested in, in his, uh, NY NJPA weather, weather Fanatic, I've had some requests for some t-shirts. Well, here they are. So uh, if you're interested in getting a t-shirt, they're right here on the website. As always, thank you for following NY NJPA weather and stay safe out there.